Alright, I'm in the process of making a mini G1 Devastator, kind of Heiku style, blocky, but he's very cool nonetheless. And I'm going to take the opportunity here to show you, a lot of people have been asking questions on how I make the pivots and swivels on my paper craft. This one wasn't built in, it's not designed, his arm is going to just glue straight on like that. So I'm going to actually make it so that it pivots, it swivels like that. I'm also going to do it with the head as well, and the other arm on that side. So, it started with just the X in the middle. If it doesn't already have one like that, then find the center point we are going to be. Um, it had the X already there, so that's cool. And then I traced a pen cap, basically, to make the circle. You want it to be as circular as possible. I'm going to cut out that circle, so that's going to be a hole. And you want that to be circular as possible, so it will smooth, uh, spin nice and smooth. And, so let's do that. Okay, so I cut out the hole. I just used my pocket knife and traced around the circle slowly. Now, I'm going to take another piece of paper, and I'm just going to kind of put it behind that and trace the circle in the middle there. Doesn't really matter what happens with this piece because it's going to be inside. You're not going to see it. But now we've got that, so we're going to cut out just roughly so it's the same size as the joints that we're making here and we're going to cut in some slits from the corners in to the circle we're not going in past the circle see what I'm saying and we we'll do that from each of the corners sometimes you can also do it uh, even more often than that but basically, we want it so that there are fold it like this, not necessarily fold and crease, but that's what we're doing to it. And then I'm going to kind of crease these edges here just a little bit like that, because this is going. We're pushing this side in to the hole. See what I see? There? See how I'm pushing it in there, pushing it all the way in, and then holding it flat on the inside. And this is one key part here too. When you're drawing the circle, and you're making the circle here for this, you don't want it too big. You want it big enough so that it's stable. You don't want a tiny pinhole that's going to flop around and it's going to be strong enough. You don't want to make it too big though for the reason that you want it to be able to spin and you don't want it... See, here's where the edge is going to be, right? And you don't want... See, we're going to have to cut off a little bit of the edges there of the, this pivot so that it's thin. So we want it to be circular on the inside. And if you make the hole too big, then you're not going to have enough room, enough edge, to have excess paper on the inside, to make a disc on the inside. But, so this is what we're doing right here. This is our pivot. We want it to, so it spins freely. And kind of spin it around once or twice and kind of, you know, even out the edges. That's basically our pivot right there. See? We're going to I'm going to cut the corners off on the inside here so that they will pivot around. Don't want anything that reaches out further than the corner, I mean the edge here. See that? And then this side, so we're gonna we're gonna glue glue something on both sides. This side is the pa the arm is gonna glue onto it. We're just gonna smack it right on there. The inside, we're going to just kind of cut out a circle and glue that. You just cut out. It's all kind of rough at this point. It's not super accurate. It's on the inside, so it don't need to be pretty. But we're cutting out a circle so that we can glue it to this. Now, put the glue, when you're gluing it, put the glue on the in the center and on the flaps, I guess you can call it, and then glue this to that, because we don't want to glue it to the board, the, the body here. We're just gluing it to that pivoting piece to give it reinforcement, so it won't pull from the middle and pull these flaps out, especially because those are the ones that we bent earlier. So we don't want those to pull on the way out, and it just kind of gives it some stability. It gives it a nice firmer piece, as well as gluing it into the middle like that kind of tightens it as well. Um, and there we go, that's going to be pretty much it right there. So let's glue that sucker on. So now I just glued that circle on the inside of this here. You can kind of see it. It's not pretty, it doesn't have to be perfectly circular, it doesn't matter because it's just a reinforcement on the inside. Um, 
and that's going to be glued on, on the inside. And then we're going to glue the arm onto that part there, so that part doesn't have to be all that pretty either. So it's pretty much just like making a paper brad, you know, the metal brad that sticks in and you split it apart, the metal wires. It's basically like making that, but out of paper, um, so that it's nice and thin and it takes up the least amount of space and whatnot. Um, now, if you the 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 two trickiest things to, to keep in mind is one making the circ the circle as circular as you can, preferably trace a penny or pen cap or something like that, depending on what the size is, so that it spins smoothest. If it's got rough edges and stuff in there, then it's going to spin roughly. Um, and the second part is to only cut when you're making the slits on the extra piece of paper, the pivot that we put in. Only bring them in to the center of this just to the center of the circle. You want it to be a relatively tight fit in there. Now this one's actually a little bit loose. I might redo it because I was just doing this for the video. But see how it'll it'll slide around a little bit like this. You see that when you cut it in too far. So I cut this one in a little bit for far on it. I probably would just cut it just to the outside of the circle, and you can always cut it a little further. Um, you can always glue another piece of paper on top of this, and that'll re rectify it as well. All right, this is the a uh, kind of a cylinder and tube method of making a joint. It especially works good on bigger paper craft where they're heavy. Um, a regular brad one that I showed would be, would th the weight of the arm would probably make it slide. It wouldn't be heavy enough. It wouldn't be strong enough to hold the arm up. So this one is a cylinder piece. It's a two paper glued into a circle and then the cap glued on it. And this is identical to the other side of it. You can see in there the, the flaps that are down there to hold the top onto the cylinder. And the same type of things on the bottom side of this to glue it to the body itself. Anyway, and so I made uh, that tube first, the inside one, and then I glued the outside one as tight as I could around the outside. Now, if that's still not tight enough, you can always take a, th a thin piece of paper, I say just regular paper instead of cardstock, and glue it to the inside of this, and that will constrict the, 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 the tube even further. It'll make it a tighter fit around the cylinder part. And then you just put one cylinder around the other, and it makes a, a nice joint pretty tight, so it can hold the weight of the arm, and uh, you can still pull them off, you know, be delicate with it, but hey, it works very well. This would be a third method of making a joint. These are the kind of joints that I used in this prime in making his arm. You see how there's a separation between the joint, uh, his body, and the torso? So this is the kind of thing I made for this. Um, basically a cylinder, a paper cylinder. You just wrap it around, just like with the cylinder method, and you apply a flat disc. See, so the hole will be the same size as the cylinder. So you cut the, the hole in the paper, and that will go through, and you glue the cylinder after the put the cylinder through the paper. And then this would be the, the body part or whatever um, on there. And so it would spin. You'd have the, the hole like this, and it would spin through there. And you want to try and get the hole as tight as possible, obviously, um, so that the uh, joints will stay up and not fall down. Um, but that's pretty much what I use for these joints. Kind of make a little barbell-type shape thing. But obviously you push this into the hole before you glue the disc. You can't just make it look like this. Put, push it into the hole, then glue the disc on the inside of the body. Inside of the body, right? Inside there. But it basically looks like this. It's a little smaller than this. This is just an example. But that's pretty much what it looks like on the inside of that. It's like right there. Hope that helps you guys. Let me know if it works.